From March 10th to 18th, 2018, art lovers of the world welcomed another visual feast, the 31st European Fine Art Fair, TIFOF, Maastricht. The exhibits range from ancient art, antiques, watches, jewelry to contemporary art and paintings. The Amsterdam Museum was invited to the fair and presented five important paintings. Four of them have been restored perfectly. But the last one is yet to be fixed. It clearly shows the difference made by the restoration. In this presentation we have even two paintings by van der Helst and what they have in common is that they have undergone treatment, restoration treatment to give them a better future, to bring them in a better state for our next generation visitors. In the Amsterdam Museum, we have a tradition of restoring paintings, like almost everywhere, but we restore also very large paintings. For Aronson Antiquaires, established in 1881, this is its 27th time to participate in TIFOF. This year, it presents the iconic Dutch Delftware, which embodies a traditional craft dating back to the 15th century. The highlights uh, of the stand this year are really some important pieces of Dutch Delftware. Dutch Delftware is ceramics made in the Netherlands between 1650 and 1850. And um, uh, it started actually uh, as an emulation of the Chinese porcelain. But they very soon became makers of ceramics in their own right. And some of our highlights date from that period that they were imitating uh, the Chinese porcelain, like a beautiful wine cooler that we have with Chinese figures on them, really like like a Kangxi type of uh, object. Um, and other objects are from the 18th century, uh, figures, animals. Koopman Rare Art was founded in 1952, specializing in antique silver. Since the first TIFOF, it has never missed the fair once. This year, it shows a lot of valuable silverware from the 17th century. I have some wonderful highlights. Uh, one of those highlights is actually one of these, this bowl here, for instance. I could look at this bowl here and talk to you about it. This is a, a fabulous Rococo uh, bowl made in, made in England in 1744, and it was made for Lord Bolingbroke, and it's one of the best examples of uh, English Rococo flat chasing that one can find. And it's in superb condition. It survived in wonderful, wonderful condition. In the Mintink and Roost booth, all types of antique clocks attract attention. The dealer enjoys a worldwide reputation for collecting and restoring antique clocks, barometers, and scientific instruments of museum quality. I think it's nice to uh, explain you a little bit about this uh, special uh, clock uh, highlight, really. Um, he Claudius Duchesne is a, is a French Huguenot who uh, escaped to uh, and fled, fled to, uh, to England. Um, and he used his, uh, his techniques uh, to make the most brilliant and well-playing and also very musical uh, clocks. This sample uh, is not only indicating time, uh, it has far more functions, but one of the things that makes it very special is it's got interchangeable musical cylinders. In a way, you could call it a kind of jukebox. Uh, it, uh, you can change and alter the, the tune you want to hear. Daniel Crouch Rare Books, which specializes in maps, atlases, and books of travel, showcases delicate books and globes with high historic value. This year we have a particularly fine selection of atlases, including um, Abraham Ortelius's 
Teatrum Orbis Terrarum, which is um, the first modern printed atlas, but perhaps interestingly as well, it's also the first Western map of China. Um, the map was originally made in 1584. One of the other highlights um, that we have is the, um, one of the first books with movable parts. So this is Peter Appian's um, Astronomicum Caesarum from 1540, um, and it's one of the first books with moving parts. And it's a series of astrolabes that um, were made for um, Charles V of the Holy Roman Emperor in 1540 by Appianus to teach him science and mathematics. At Tifov Maastricht, every exhibit is an excellent example of craftsmanship in history. They show the progress of human society every step of the way.